It's no good. I'm far too hungry. I'm never going to get to sleep. I better see what I've got to eat. Well, hello everyone. We're playing a game called Egg Fried Rice today. If you remember a game called Ritual that I played some weeks ago, well, it's from the same creator, so I expect it to be fun and probably to have multiple endings. Okay, bedroom, waking up hungry. Usually, I don't wake up because I'm hungry. Like, I can't fall asleep because I'm hungry, but waking up because of it, not really. Oh well. Radio. We've got some relaxing tunes on the first channel. Something that sounds a little, a little bit more classical on the second. And what might be an interview on the third one. I don't think I need any of those. That looks like camping gear. Or hiking gear. I'm not too sure. And I'm fairly certain there's nothing in this room for us. Okay, we've got a telephone and some takeout. Are we going to phone the restaurant? There's a good chance. Can't leave the house. Okay, this will help in the dark. We got a flashlight, so... I'm guessing we're gonna leave the house at one point. Wait, bathroom? So many light switches. While it's realistic, it's also a little bit annoying for a horror game. To turn on and off all the individual lights. But I'd say it's a good point rather than a bad point. So, who can I call? Mother, friend, police. You know, maybe later. First, let's take a look in the kitchen. Okay, we have cereal. No milk. Honestly, I've eaten cereal without milk quite often. Just as a snack. So, if you're really that hungry, I don't think that would stop you. Okay, same three channels. The same poster. Canned food. Can openers broken. Don't you have a screwdriver or something along that line? Just puncture it a few times. And wiggle around to increase the size of the hole and you can get that opened. Sure, you need to be careful how you puncture it because otherwise you're gonna have some metal in your food, but you can get it open. <laughs> Bread, expi- Why would you buy a roll package and not eat any of it? That's strange. Strange behavior. And an empty fridge. So I'm guessing all of the options are useless. Takeaway menu. I don't think there's any draft coming from this wall. Like, how the hell did that thing fall down? Sure, it was near the edge, but... If it was close enough to fall down, it would have fallen down so much earlier, probably. Oh well. Hmm, a Chinese takeaway? That could be tasty. It's all... it all sounds so good. It's late though. I shouldn't have much. I think I'll just get some egg fried rice. Ooh. That's a great choice. Damn, they don't deliver. It's only a short drive into town. I'll just go and order in person. 
Okay, go to the takeaway. Um, I'm gonna close my door just to be safe. And I'm not going to explore because there's a strange, strange boundary just floating in the air when you get close. Sure, it's nice that there's a visual, but I like to have a little bit more space so that I can explore. Ooh, I get to drive. It's always fun to have a little driving action in a horror game. As long as it's not too long. Sometimes you get weary of driving along a very, very boring road. Also, I said I like the choice of egg fried rice. That is because if you take the staple foods like potato, rice, noodles and bread, I will always go for a rice. I love rice, what is that? Okay, it's a place I can't enter. Might lead to a forest trail or something like that. So just gonna continue. But as I said, I prefer rice over every other kind of staple food. That's why I made rice today. With some vegetables, a nice sauce. I'm probably gonna fry up the, well, leftovers with some eggs tomorrow. Nah, no, not tomorrow. If you fry rice, you want to let it stay. I don't know, I usually let it stay for one day. So I would eat it in two days. Vibrant man. Hey, I have not seen you around before. New to the area? The flashing text is cool, but if there's too much to read with that, I'll probably get annoyed. That's crazy. You picked a bad time. Some woman turned up dead just the other week. What happened? I don't know the deeds. I just overhear stuff, you know? Her body got dumped someplace outside of town. Pretty gnarly stuff. But hey, life goes on. Well, for the rest of us anyway. Okay, dude, that was dark. Wild times right now, you know? Okay, I don't get to choose that option. Anything interesting here? Yeah, I can see the cook working. Don't think that's gonna help me too much. Anything else I can explore? Nope, there's just a creep standing around. And the other side of the road. I wonder if there's another person I can talk to. But we shall see. This looks like it could have nobody. Ooh, phone box. Anything adaptable? Yes, the phone. It's a payphone. I need money to call somebody. You also need money to get food. Am I going to drive home just to get my... Uh, okay. I might get annoyed with the driving time in this game. But maybe I'm lucky and I don't have to drive back. Maybe I'm gonna use a cart or something. Or the egg fried rice. Ooh, newspaper. Second body found in Waffleton Creek. Police have pulled another body from the water less than a mile from downtown Waffleton. A dog worker who wishes to remain anonymous called to report the sighting. 
Police struggle to free the body from the reeds for over an hour. The body has yet to be identified and no cause of death has been officially reported. But a source close to the Vala claims that the body was found with multiple stab wounds and lacerations on the arms and legs. Oh, that sounds nice. And the thing that I thought might lead to a forest trail might lead to a lake. Good to know. So if I'm killed, I at least know where my body is gonna be put. Ooh, some fish. Very lively. Okay, a single guest. Hello there. Have we met before? No, uh, I don't think so. Hmm, perhaps you're right. But you certainly look familiar. That's creepy, dude. I must be mistaken. My age does that to me from time to time. Well, be careful out there all the same. Careful? Why? Don't you read the papers? I just did. It's dangerous to be out alone at night. I'll never get used to the violence in towns and cities such as this. I live far out in the forest, you see. There's nowhere more peaceful and safe. Though, I suppose there are rumors of missing people all the way out there too. Oh, here. Oh, here I go rambling again. I don't get many chances to talk to folk these days. Think on it, no more. The coffee here is surprisingly good. Nothing beats my homeland, of course. It's a real knockout. Okay, you are suspicious. That man is suspicious. And you know what? The cook might be suspicious too. And maybe the colorful guy too. I don't trust nobody here right now. Hello, what can I get you? One egg fried rice, of course. That will be two pounds eighty cents, please. Oh no, I forgot my money. Did I call it or did I call it? I will quickly drive back to my home and get it. Is that okay? Yes, that is fine. Your food will take a few minutes to prepare. So it should be ready by the time you come back. Do not take too long. We must close soon. No problem, I will be quick. Ugh. Hey there. Why are you staring at me? Are you the creep from down the road? Well, you just jumped to my number one spot on suspected murder. Or suspected murderer. Oh well. Let's drive home. Oh. Is that creep gonna follow me and find out my the location of my home? Really don't want that to happen and yep, that's Waffleton. So this might really lead to the lake. Lovely. But for now, let's drive home. I'm sure nothing special is gonna happen on this turn. But maybe one of the later ones will have somebody standing in the road. Maybe something is blocking the road. I'm not too sure. But at least my car can take a tree without, well, completely dying. And we're back home. At least the drive is not that long. I always try to go for the left side. I'm used that the driver's on the left side. Okay. Wait. Wasn't... Yeah. 
a purse next to the radio. There are coins inside. This will cover my egg fried rice with a coin or two to spare. I better get back and pay. Okay, so we might have enough money for a payphone call too. Also, just realized this crystal was also in Ritual. That thing ensured that uh, the ghost from the white Ritual? No. It was a black and a red Ritual. One of the Ritual's um, well blocked out the ghost if you have this crystal above the window or above the door. But I'm sure you don't care for that. Oh well, let's get back to the restaurant and get my food. <laughs> so the creep did follow me. I'm fairly certain I just saw that creep next to that rock. Great. So my biggest worry right now is that I think I have forgotten to close my door. So anything changed around here? After all... That creep is gone. That guy is gone. Hmm. Nobody here. Ex-partner, police, cancel. Okay, I can't call people now. I don't know why I would do that, but sure. Hello? <laughs> oh god, we're gonna prank him. Who's there? It's you again, isn't it? I can hear you breathing. I'm gonna report you to the police if you keep harassing me like this. It isn't funny. Oh boy, it's a payphone. I need money to call somebody. And I wasted my money. Great, I hope I have at least enough for my food. Oh, hey there. I was gonna ask you for some coins. But I heard you fumbling with that payphone. Looks like I missed my chance, you know? Okay. That might play into the different endings you can get. Hello? Is something wrong? What do you mean? I want my food. Of course not. I'm back with the money. What do you... What do you mean? Payment for my egg fried rice, remember? Did your friend not tell you? He paid for your egg fried rice. Ma'am, that dude was not my friend. You just gave a stranger my food. My friend? Yes, the man that came in with you before. Fairly certain he didn't come in with me. I, ha I had a complete conversation with one of your guests before he showed up. He paid up and said he would take your egg fried rice straight to you. He is no friend of mine. You let him take my food? Well, yes. He said, he told me, oh dear, I'm sorry. We were about to lock up. But I will ask our chef for another egg fried rice. Thank you. That would be great. Great right here. That creep is getting worse and worse. He followed me home. Or at least he tried to. He only got to the rock I guess. After all he had to wait for my egg fried rice to get done. So... He's probably still waiting there, and he's gonna follow me once I drive home, the next time. Why would that man take my food? Because he's a psychopath. What a loser. 
Um, I wouldn't call him a loser. Because I'm fairly certain he can wring your neck. Here you go. Sorry for the mix-up. That's okay. There's no harm done. Here's your money. Thank you. Don't forget to pick up your egg fried rice before you leave. Good night. Damn. That looks pretty big. Mmm, looks delicious. Like... I think a portion is normally only half of that. Oh well. We're gonna drive home. And have a nice meal before going to bed. Did that freak just throw my order at me? Yeah, it looks like egg fried rice is on my car. Great. Is that egg fried rice? I don't believe it. What a mess. Did somebody throw this at me? I'm getting creeped out. I don't want to hang around he out here. I'd better drive slow and get home. I'll sort this in the morning. I can't deal with it now. I just want to eat my egg fried rice. Well, my guess. He wanted to make sure that he can follow me easily. Which is worrisome. Barely certain I'm gonna die. Or at least have somebody knock on my door. But at least I know now that he couldn't have entered my home. Though I didn't leave my door open, so... Maybe that worry was unfounded. Yeah. What an asshole. Place your food in the kitchen, sure. Did you have to make it float like that? But really, that thing looks like more than one meal. Also, who's calling me? Hello? Hello, it is the Chinese takeaway? How do you have my number? I'm certain I didn't tell you my name. Has to be the creep. Has to be the creep. He followed me. He knows my home address. And with a home address, you can usually easily get the landline number. We have a free bottle of beer for you. A free 14 cookie too. Why wouldn't you have told me that before I left? Please come and collect them. Free? Is this because of the mix-up? Yes, that's right. Please come and collect them. Hello? They hung up. Weird. I could quickly go and pick up that free beer and fortune cookie. My egg fried rice would stay warm if I hurry. But should I? Well, that... I think I'm safe and stay alive. That one, the first, I think I'm gonna die. But sure, this is too good to miss. Since it's multiple endings, I'm gonna have to play the game a few times anyways. I'll know how many ones... I know how many endings there are. There's probably gonna be something like one of eight or something like that at the end once I get to one. I shouldn't drive the car with this damage. I guess I'm walking. Are you kidding me? You want me to get there on foot? What? Is hmm. Uh, 
Okay, I'm conf. Oh! How did I miss this path? I guess that leads to the. walkway near the city, but. Strange nonetheless. Uh, no? I hate you. I hate that guy. Such a creep. I should have went home. Really? That's such a big difference between those two ways. I think I walked quicker than I drove. That's strange. Oh well. Ooh, that guy might be breaking in. I don't like that. So, anything there? No, nothing appeared behind me. Oh, that's the music that plays on the main menu. I really enjoy it, but right now it creeps me out. Nice, free beer. We are busy cleaning. Please take your drink and go. Where's my fortune cookie? Also, I'm still surprised how you got my number. And if you're cleaning, I should be able to see that through the window, shouldn't I? If I can't see... <laughs> They're dead. This is not good. And I used my money to prank call my boyfriend. Or my ex. Um... Wouldn't it make sense that you can use a payphone to call the police even without money? You know, for emergencies. Okay, I'm dead. I'm so dead. My guess, one ending is eating the egg fried rice without going here. Oh, it was that stupid part. I'm a little wound up right now. I can't really see this going well right now. That creep was close to my home and had quite a bit of time to do something. Why are all the lights turned off? Nope, they're not turned off. Why is the radio on? <laughs> yeah. Lured into a trap. The strange man stabbed you multiple times. Woozy but still alive, you observed him smiling as he watched the life leave your body. He stayed with you until he finally died, murdered for nothing but a sick amusement. He was never caught. Police found the takeaway staff dead the next day, brutally murdered. Reviewing the CCTV led them to you. They found your blood all over your home. It didn't take them long to find your body stuffed inside your fridge, covered in egg fried rice. Okay, I might have overlooked this, but we can seemingly just go back to sleep. I haven't eaten yet, I'm not sure if I'll be able to sleep. Try to sleep. Sleepless night. You tried to sleep without eating, but just tossed and turned all night, unable to settle. 
The next day, you performed poorly at work due to the lack of sleep and your boss fired you. You fell into a depressed slump, causing your friends and family to tie off your now constant whining. One by one, they stopped contacting you. You should, you should have eaten some egg fried rice. This seems very over the top. Like, which boss would fire you for one bad day? Okay, this time let's go with just eating the egg fried rice. I don't need the beer. Especially after getting thrown something at my car. So just enjoy this meal. Ah, <sighs> delicious. Also, this portion seems to be really gigantic. Slept safely, but at what cost? After finishing your egg fried rice, you went back to bed. As soon as your head hit the pillow, you fell into a deep, peaceful sleep. However, the next morning you woke feeling haunted by your decisions to turn down a free drink and fortune cookie due to a little fear and uneasiness. The memory of the seemingly poor choice caused you to live the rest of your life with an unshakable sensation of hollowness. The mental hang-up of ruining an otherwise nice meal meant you could never again fully enjoy the once delicious taste of egg fried rice. God, they really want you to go to, well, either the you get murdered ending or the perfect ending, I guess. Okay, everything picked up, we're at the end of the game. I've realized a few things. The humming that that guy did, definitely the song. And the other part. I was confused on how these people got my address, but... The creep knows where I live, and since he took over the business after killing them, it makes sense. But now to take a look at those people, at the corpses... They're dead! This is not good. What you say? Well, I'm gonna call the police, and this time I'm gonna survive. I don't see what else I could do as get a good ending. Criminal investigation. The police came and took your statement. The whole experience took hours and was extremely stressful. When the police drove you home, you noticed that your door was open and your house had been broken into. The police went inside and found a strange man hiding in a corner. He acted very casual, but they arrested him for murder. The worst part was that while waiting for you to return home, the strange man ate your egg fried rice. Oh, everything comes back to egg fried rice. Okay. I have to say this game was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. Love the music. I'm a big fan of those classical tunes. Love the ambience. Love that the story overall had a little bit of a silly element. Like with this last part here, that the killer ate my food. And well, I can say the only thing I didn't like was that I had to drive the car a little bit too much. I even took the last time to experiment a little bit. If you drive backwards at the portion where the egg fried rice is thrown at you, it still hits your front windshield. Even though it is nowhere near it. Uh, but what can you do? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment or subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.